In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of obturator nerve. Obturator nerve, which is this nerve. This is on medial part of thigh. Okay? And I am going to explain its origin, direction, and what kind of tissue does this nerve innervate. Okay? Obturator nerve is from lumbar spines, particularly L2 through L4. L2 through L4. So, this is part of lumbar plexus. Plexus means a kind of bundle of nerves. Lumbar plexus. Okay, so anyway, obturator nerve is from lumbar spines. And it runs inside of pelvis, inside of pelvis, and emerges from pelvis. Then it runs medial part of thigh, and it reaches to inside part of knee. This is very very long nerve. Okay. So location is medial part of thigh. That means. Obturator nerve innervates tissues on medial part of thigh. Does it make sense? So, obturator nerve innervates medial part of tissues. This doesn't innervate front part because you know obturator nerve is not on front part. It's on medial part. It makes sense, right? So, where nervous tissue is this nerve innervates tissue around itself. It's very simple, right? This is very, very important thing. Again, obturator nerve is on medial part of thigh. I am going to explain what kind of muscles are innervated by obturator nerve first. So, obturator nerve basically innervates adductor muscles, which is on medial part of thigh. It innervates adductor brevis. Adductor brevis. Brevis means short, short adductor, okay? And adductor longus. Longus means long. Adductor Magnus. Magnus means wide, big. Okay? And gracilis. Gracilis is very thin, long muscle inside part of thigh. Plus obturator externus. Obturator externus. So obturator nerve innervates five muscles. One, two, three, four, five. Adductor brevis. Adductor longus. Adductor magnus. Gracilis. And obturator externus. Okay? These muscles are on medial part of thigh. Again, where nervous tissue is, this nerve innervates surrounding tissue. Okay? Now, let me explain what kind of other tissues obturator nerve innervates. So, obturator nerve is not only for muscular innervation. It also innervates sensory system of joint, especially hip joint, because hip joint is close to obturator nerve. Makes sense. Plus, Knee joint is also innervated by obturator nerve because it's close to knee joint. So obturator nerve takes sensory information from joint. This is very, very interesting. Plus, some researchers say PCL is innervated by obturator nerve. PCL. Posterior cruciate ligament. That's very interesting. So, obturator nerve takes information from hip joint, knee joint, 
and PCL. So if obturator nerve is aggravated, maybe from injury, maybe from tight muscles, tight joint, these joint and ligaments can be aggravated as well. Or if PCL got injured or knee joint get injuries, that can affect obturator nerve. This is very important nerve for medial part of lower extremity. And I want to add one more thing, which is relationship with internal organ. This is very interesting information. If I pick up one organ, I would like to pick up ovary. This is female internal organ, right? Ovary and obturator nerve are very, very close each other. So if ovary got inflammation or maybe adhesion, that can affect obturator nerve. By the way, ovary is about this area. This is inside part of pelvis. Let's say it's very close each other. If ovary got dysfunction, that can affect obturator nerve. Internal organ and nervous tissue relationship can create joint problem. Why? Because peripheral nervous system innervates muscles and joint. Ovary is very close to obturator nerve. That's why ovary and obturator nerve relationship is very, very important. In this video, I explained basic anatomy of obturator nerve. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.